Parks on the air, summits on the air, field day, MCOM, or just operating portable for the fun of it. If you're looking for a portable antenna that works well and sets up easily, stick around. Welcome back to the DX Engineering channel, everyone. My name is Michael, KI8R, and today let's take a look at the Chelligan's MC750 antenna. Now, I got interested in Parks on the Air in 2023 and had the opportunity to activate Parks over the course of the summer and fall. While I have plenty of portable antennas to choose from, I really wanted something that would quickly set up. The less time you spend setting up and tearing down your antenna system, the more contacts you're making. So, when I saw the Chelligan's MC750, I knew I wanted to try one. The MC750 comes in a well-made carrying case. The case has a handle as well as a shoulder strap. Inside are the five parts of the antenna, including the ground spike, the antenna arm, the 40 meter coil, the whip, and the radials. The radials are 11.48 or 3.5 meters long, and they include 3 millimeter banana plugs that plug into the base of the antenna. Since the radials are yellow, they will stand out against the ground, which should make them more conspicuous to anyone who passes by your antenna. Setting up the antenna is easy. Just attach the ground spike to the antenna arm, then push it into the ground. Then add the 40 meter coil if you're operating 40 or 30 meters, the whip, and the radials. As you extend the whip, you will see that there are marks on, on it for 40 through 10 meters. I found in my testing that extending the whip to the desired band setting was either good enough or only required a small adjustment to dial in the SWR. Typically, I can set this antenna up and be on the air in under five minutes. Band changes can be done in under a minute or two. One thing to note is that the antenna is metric, so if you want to substitute your 3H24 whip, you will need an adapter. Also, the whip is not marked for 6 or 30 meters. However, I found that for 6 meters, all that was necessary was to extend the topmost section of the whip. For 30 meters, I added the 40 meter coil and extended the four top sections of the whip. There are also two optional items available for this antenna. The first one is a lightweight tripod. Now, this is a great solution if you're operating somewhere that will not allow you to drive a spike into the ground. The tripod also includes a quarter of the 3 8 adapter as well as a 3 8 to M10 adapter, which makes it even more versatile for other antennas. If you're looking for 80 meter coverage, there's also an optional 80 meter coil. The MC750 is rated at 100 watts PEP. I tested the antenna on a POTA activation on 40 meters. I wanted to see if there was any heating for the 40 meter coil while I was running 100 watts on a CW pileup but I did not detect any rise in temperature. Now, if you're operating one of the digital modes such as FT8, we do recommend that you run a maximum of 25 watts. Let's talk about tuning the antenna. As I mentioned earlier, the antenna is easy to tune, especially since there are no coils to adjust or tap. I found that in many cases, just setting the width of the proper band mark was more than sufficient to give me an acceptable SWR, generally one and a half to one or less on most bands. Since I carry an antenna analyzer, if I need to make any adjustments, they can be done quickly by adjusting the length of the whip. Remember, antennas are impacted by the environment that they're in, and they may behave differently from location to location. Factors such as soil conditions or objects close to the antenna, such as trees or buildings, may have an impact on the SWR. The antenna is reasonably rugged and well thought out. From the grip on the antenna base, to the band marks on the whip, to the yellow radials, Chelligans has done a great job working through the design and construction of this antenna. It's a lightweight package that is easy to transport in a park or up a mountain. In short, it is quick and simple to set up, and it's repeatable. One other benefit is that you won't need an antenna tuner. Now one thing to note here is the antenna does not come with coax, so you will need to purchase that separately. Now, I have a number of portable antennas, some commercially made and some that I built, and they all work well, but this has become my go-to antenna for portable operating. If you're looking for a portable antenna for POTA, SOTA, or just your favorite vacation spot, this might be just what you're looking for. And that's the Chelligan's MC750 antenna. Thanks for watching today. My name is Michael, KI8R. 
and we'll catch you on the next one.